Good morning. How is everyone? Welcome to First Christian Church. We're thrilled that you're here and we're excited to see what God has in store. So maybe you're wondering, what is it we believe around here? What's our mission? Well, we think it's really quite simple and amazing all at the same time. Our mission is this. We're here to lead people into a life-changing relationship with Jesus Christ. We believe that God uses both the local church and you to further his kingdom. So thanks for being a part of God's mission. Right now, we're going to continue our worship by the giving of our tithes and offerings. This is just for those of us that call First Christian Home. So if you're new here or maybe you're just visiting, don't feel pressure to give. We're glad you're here and we'd love to connect with you. As the servers come to the front and begin to pass out the offering bags, here's a few things we think you should know about. Easter is only one week away. Yeah, that's right, it's next weekend. We're really excited to see what God is going to do and we encourage you to invite someone you know. This may be our biggest weekend of the year and to celebrate the resurrection of Jesus, we've decided to add another service to make room for everyone. So please consider coming to our Saturday night service on April 23rd at 5 p.m. Otherwise, we'll see you Sunday at our normal times. Do you have questions about our church, like why isn't the music louder? Or why do we take communion every Sunday? If so, we invite you to join us for our newcomer's dinner on Sunday, May 1st at 6 p.m. There will be great food, an opportunity to connect with others, and a chance to ask Pastor David anything your little heart desires. If you'd like to come, fill out your connection card and drop it off at the connection point. We had a great time this past Wednesday. Peter from Compassion joined us and shared his powerful story. If you missed it, we are offering CDs of his testimony. We've also put it up on our podcast, so make sure you check it out. So, every good story has a satisfying ending, right? It's in those last pages where the plot twists and turns, wrapping itself up with a big bow on top. As we head into the final chapter of Nehemiah, many of us are wondering if the story has one of those satisfying endings. The answer is yes and no. In just a few minutes, Pastor David will lead us as we finish this journal, and you probably won't believe how it ends. Yeah. 